What is going on, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from Estadio Acron, and today, for the first time in my life, I am going to a professional soccer game. Not just anywhere in the world, I am in Mexico, and I'm gonna be seeing the most popular team in the country, apparently, Chivas. I'm super excited about this, but I've gotta get, I've gotta get more into costume much better and for all of you team adriana fans she's going to be sitting this one out but it is a guy's night and i've got two friends i want to introduce you to we have got fede what's up and manuel hey. and they both run this amazing podcast called nosotros el barrio so we have right. members of the barrio yeah. they're nosotros el barrio i actually went on his podcast uh, they're both subscribers to my channel guys what what can i expect today I mean, you can expect a lot of noise uh, because it is the most uh, popular theme, and you can see the the stadium will be packed. Okay, we are going to win. <laughs> big fan, big fan right here, huge fan. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm a Chivas fan now. What can I say? My first impressions of the parking lot, it reminds me of going to like an NFL football game. Less people, I know this is not a huge game for Chivas, but people are drinking, people are barbecuing. It seems like a good time. Like some guys back there were saying they've been here for the last three or four hours. You were telling me, how did Chivas get their name? Yeah, uh, here in the city, it's an important match against Atlas. They are the, the two uh, domestic teams, I don't know how to say that. Um, they have an internal rivalry. So once, uh, um, I don't know how many years yes, ago, but uh, Chivas won a match and some TV broadcasters uh, was telling, oh, look at the fans, they are like Chivas, like goats, jumping like and goats. screaming, yeah. Crazy so goats. <laughs> they are called Chivas because of that uh, person. Number one Chivas fan right here. Very cool right here. They just have food trucks, all these games, all these companies sponsoring random stuff here. People with microphones. We haven't even walked in the stadium yet, and I'm already feeling a, a really good energy vibe here. Ticket right here costs about 12 US dollars. Very, very cool ticket. Gracias. It looks brand new to me, and I'm gonna look at the field for the first time right now. Look at this. Guys, should I eat this? I don't know. What do you think? Should I, should I eat this? Try tajino? Tejuino. Tejuino. What is tejuino? It's like fermented flour made of corn. Yeah. And they make a beverage. It tastes good. It's, it's, okay, let's see. It's like less than $2. We're going to try this. Primitive Michelada. Primitive Michelada, that, that's one way of describing it. My question is why not put alcohol in this? I think it would taste better. I think you could put beer on it. Beer? Yeah. I put vodka, but I put vodka in any <laughs> Section T2, 24. Upstairs. We are just arriving to our seats and we still have a soccer game to watch. I mean, I'm having so much fun here. The game hasn't even started yet. Guys, the Guadalajara anthem right now. It's like a Mexican pride to say that you are 
are a Chivas fan because it is full of Mexicans. So it's like a, the short national team. Choritos, guys, check this out. Here we go. Uh, un poquito más. I am the Queen of Valentino, you have no idea, so any chance I get to put it, sorry about that, any chance I get to put it on anything, including your pants, I do so. <laughs> Missed the goal, almost. I will give these supporters of Chivas credit. Their uh, their rooting section has not stopped dancing and singing the entire game, even though they're losing two Why are they still so crazy even though Chivas lost? We are crazy until the end. We are supporting Chivas no matter what. I'm disappointed that Chivas could not score a goal so I could have at least filmed the people here going insane. Uh, I did learn a bunch of Spanish slang words, most of which I can't use on this video, but one I can use is Siéntate payaso, sit down clown, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Words. of the barrio that was quite a fun experience here i'm eventually going to be making a video about top 10 things to do in guadalajara and this is certainly going to be number one two or three the atmosphere all the different food and drinks you can try i'm just you know really experiencing something that is super super mexican i would say it's something that you just have to do at least once when you come to Guadalajara. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel. I've got some fans right behind me. These guys are curious what I'm up to. Uh, i got a lot more coming up from Guadalajara. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Yeah. Oh, up, up, up. Okay. Do you see me in the field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's okay. Perfecto, senor.